Targeting the villager. villager. And we are off to the races. Uh, this is actually a pretty funny matchup for Bowser. Uh, interestingly enough, uh, Isabelle is harder in this matchup solely because like Villager doesn't have a lot of good options to get around Flame Buff. He can jump over it, but like the the Lloyd Rocket, uh, the Slingshot pellets, and all that are beaten out by Flame Breath. So if you want to camp out the Villager as Bowser, you kind of can. Psyche can also potentially get around the, the Lloyd Rocket. But the big thing that Villager also has in this matchup is like, yes, he can also get camp, and Villager's fast aerials are very good here. They're getting a little bit too aggressive. I think he just needs to play a little, a little more passively. Get the down air out there, but so far the pressure that's coming out from Human Person is very oppressive here. Rain is not going to find a way in. Yeah, see right there, you can burn the Lloyd Rocket because the, the fire actually explodes it. This is like the one thing that's kind of rough is the tree. You can flame breath it down. Oh, you get the bowling ball in the top left. Um, it doesn't really do too much. And once you exhaust your jump, you're a very horizontal like recovery for your villager to punish. So it's kind of a potential jab punish there. And uh, human person just kind of gets away for free. We're, we're just flame breathing now. We're flame on him. Cannot jab Bowser. His villager. Trying to up smash something. We're just standing in place, playing breath, but we're not getting it out in time. Human person is actually kind of like getting an adjustment to it in that like uh, he's throwing it a little bit higher than Gran is. Uh, this can uh, potentially get around the uh, flame breath. Good wait there from Gran. Uh, opting not to use his uh, double jump handle being out. And I have uh, Pinkie Pie joining me on the mic. How are you doing tonight? I'm great, thanks. And uh, yeah, Gran, Gran was telling me how much he was loathing having to. Oh god. <laughs> oh, the the oh. balloon's actually. Uh, how much, two how much he was loathing having to play this matchup because I, I told him tough guy through stuff, but I don't even know how much Bowser can tough guy from villagers. So I'm, I'm sure that was kind of like an empty, empty kind of a, uh, I don't know, uh, uh, advice, I guess. So the funny part of this matchup is actually the fact that Flame Breath is complete, like allows Bowser to zone out with villager. True. Uh, and yeah, you can't be using it too, too much like that. But like, if you, if you kind of like stand in place and just use flame breath, like don't use it too aggressively. Yeah. You can beat out the slingshot and you can beat out the Lloyd. These are the main options that Villager is going to be using to try and break your zone. Exactly. And so, if, if you're able to just keep doing that, you're, oh you're going to be able to get around the uh, oppressive style of Villager. Yeah, Grant. Oh my God. Yeah, Grant. Grant forced to recover high so many times and like it's been cut. Yeah, look at that. Just, okay. Yeah, you got gets through before the forward smash. Although this is not looking good for Grant. Please. Big damage. Air dodging into it. Yeah. He's, he's just flame on. Yo. Yeah, thankfully, they fixed the hitbox from that. It's not as bad as it was in like melee and brawl, so it's actually a pretty good move now. And but. then in this game, they just added a million damage to it. But that, that, I think. Uh, Overall, the problem here from Grant is just coming in a little bit too aggressively. Like, the flame breaths, we're, we're not getting a good position in. Ultimately, like, the things that we're trying to beat out, we're just jumping into before the hitbox even comes out. Yep. I think if we go for a little bit more stationary flame breaths, like, you're not going to get as much damage off of them, but you're also not going to get hit. The stage is not legal. Okay. I got to shut up and a wee gentleman. So. <laughs> oh, I, this is the... Uh, Unova, right? This is Kalos. Oh, Kalos? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I uh, it got banned recently, and I could not be happier. I don't like that stage, but, you know, I'm, I'm heavily biased. Yes, you are. <laughs> and I am biased, too, because it sucks for my main, and it's good for yours. Uh, I, I actually think it's a, a fine stage to get rid of, though. Just, like, the playstyle that it opts for. That's actually something funny you can do. Because the invincibility startup on the side, but you get right through the Lloyd. Yep. I, I thought he was actually going to land on the Lloyd, like, as he came back down. It almost looked like he did. Grant off to a much stronger start right now. He just needs to focus on getting his little nickel and dime hits instead of like trying to overextend too much. And right now he's doing a pretty good job at that. Although that up he was a little unsafe. Yeah, yeah. I, I feel like Grant's not playing correctly to be like reactionary. Like yeah. he, he's just opting to go for stuff. And exactly. It can work, especially as Bowser, because like if you get the oh he <laughs> grabbed the wood. Yeah, he did. But like, it, if you do too much reactionary, like what's happening here, the villager's getting a little bit more options to play in. I feel like that was a mistake for Gran not to go forward. Maybe a little bit worried the villager would take him off that. Yeah. These bowling balls. <laughs> it looked like he maybe. Oh! It looked like he maybe was gonna roll like uh, to the side to avoid the bowling ball, but he didn't have time because I guess uh, it just didn't input in time. But this could be scary. No balloon usage this time. Oh my god, yeah, everything covered right now from human person. Oh, if we would have gone for the side either. Yeah. But oh, and we oh, run right into no. the tree! 
Yeah, th this has kind of just been the story here. Grand just getting, like, overextending where he can get, move in the map and then just not able to clutch out the kill. But that oh, was 100%. Yeah. Callow's platform, the villager, 157. Okay. And we, we got the wood in hand. I don't know if he wants that, though. Yeah, I was going to say, there's not much you can really do with that at zero, I don't think. Hey, actually, Bowser has some insane stuff because he has... Uh, the strongest item throw in the game, he yep. does the most damage out of every character. So Actually, he, that does make sense. Although, like, I was thinking, like, is there are there any combos that Grand's, like, labbed out, you know? Oh, probably not. Yeah, like, I could, I could definitely do, like, oh. Z-Drop into Down Air Spike with Game & Watch, but, you know, you don't get the chance to very often, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, I love my boy, but I don't think he's labbed out wood combos. <laughs> I don't think he has either. I think, to be fair, I haven't either. This character. Yeah, there we go. I like that holding shield just a little bit longer. This oh, no! Oh, no. He uh, catches his tail. Like I swear, he all of his body except for like Bowser's tail was beyond that Bowser or that uh, bowling ball. It's just unfortunate. You, I'd, I'd like to see Grand start to make a little bit more adjustments. Like we've seen that Kieran person has made the adjustments to cover. No! no! <sighs> oh God, no! You yeah, hate to see it. It's the buffer system at its best again. Unfortunately, that also is a matter of like if you tilt your.